Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hi, good to see you. All right. Hello, hello. Good to see everybody. Let's begin. I'll be sharing the screen with you now. There it is. Okay. And also I'm taking the attendance. Just a second. Thank you. Okay. Here we go. Okay, everybody, when you hear your name, please let me know. Let's begin. We have Ada Veronica Muñoz de Fuentes. Hmm. Are you here? Okay. Alexis Giovanni Ramos Rosales. Present teacher. Thank you. Alicia Perez Gavidia. Alicia Perez Gavidia. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Present. Thank you. Cecilio Antonio Cortez Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Present teacher. Thank you. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Idalia Margarita García Cruz. Present. Thank you. Isaac Adbonay Tobar. Isaac Adbonay Tobar. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo Flores. Present. Thank you. Juan Antonio Brand de Paz. Juan Antonio Brand de Paz. Catherine Andreina Pérez Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Luis José Valle Hernández. Luis José Valle Hernández. María Magdalena Méndez Méndez. Present. Thank you. Marina Amaya de Mata. Present teacher. Thank you. Marjorie Marilyn Martinez Grijalva. I'm here. Thank you. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez Rosales. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez Rosales. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro Roque. Present. Thank you. Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. Olivia Raquel Rodríguez Benítez. Present. Thank you. Oscar Alexander Domínguez Herrera. I'm here. Thank you. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Stephanie Brendalí Vázquez Méndez. Stephanie Brendalí Vázquez Méndez. Okay, I'm calling again those who haven't replied. Ana Verónica Muñoz de Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you. Alicia Perez Gavidia. Present teacher. Thank you. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. Isaac Adbonay Tobar. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. 
Juan Antonio Grande Paz. Juan Antonio Grande Paz. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez Rosales. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez. Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Brendalí Vázquez Méndez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Okay, we have two chat entries here. Delmi says, okay, Delmi, welcome. Juan Antonio Brand, okay. There he is. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Present. Oh. Present. Thank you very much. My okay. mic is fire. Okay. <laughs> okay. Welcome. And we have Noé Ezequiel. Present. Thank you. Okay. Let's begin. All right, everybody. This is English Pre Intermedio Modulo 1. And that's me, Ivan Doñang, at your service. This is session number eight. And today is June the 1st of 2020. 23, sorry, made a mistake there, it's 2023. All right, sorry about that. So today is June 1st, 2023. So what are we going to do? Well, we have a review, we're gonna have a review of comparative forms and after that, we're going to study a little bit more theory, grammar, okay? And then we're going to do some exercises. We're going to finish the unit, the session, the, the uh, section, and then we're going to solve the midterm. So there's a lot of work. Let's begin. So comparatives, this is the form of comparatives. This is when you have one syllable adjectives. This is what you do. Normally you just add ER. For example, old becomes older, slow becomes slower, and nice becomes nicer. Nice already ends in E, so you only need to add R, okay? Then, again, when you have a one syllable adjective that finishes or ends in consonant plus a vowel plus a consonant except W, you add an extra consonant and ER. For example, you have big, as you can see big is consonant, vowel, and consonant. So you say bigger, double G. Hot, hot is a one syllable adjective ending in consonant, vowel, and consonant. So you say hotter, double T. And then you have thin, Thin is another one syllable adjective ending in consonant, vowel, and consonant. Then you add an extra consonant and the ER, and you have thinner, double N. Now, what happens when you have two or more syllable adjectives? Okay, first rule two syllable adjectives ending in Y, you change Y for IER. Examples you have EC. E, C, two syllables, but it ends in Y. So you change that for I, E, R. Heavy, heavy, two syllables right there, ends in Y, so you change Y for I, E, R, heavier. And then you have early, early, two syllables, early, and it ends in Y, so you change Y for I, E, R, earlier. That's the comparative form. And final rule, you use more, for adjectives with two or more syllables. Like, for example, careful, careful, two syllables, careful. The comparative form is more careful. Expensive, three syllables, expensive. The comparative form is more expensive. Intelligent, four syllables, intelligent. The comparative form is more intelligent. Interesting, interesting. The comparative form is more interesting. And there are some examples. This jacket is okay, but I think the other one, the other jacket, is nicer. Aquí vemos un ejemplo de lo que hablábamos antes también. One, para no decir jacket, dos veces. Okay? 
this jacket is okay, but I think the other jacket, para no decir jacket de nuevo, decimos the other one is nicer. Helen wants to buy a bigger car. Susan doesn't like her job. She wants to do something more interesting. And you should be more careful when you drive. So uh, some irregular adjectives are good. The comparative is better. Bad, the comparative is worse. You have some examples. The weather wasn't very good yesterday, but it's better today. And do you feel better today? No, I feel worse. Me siento peor, right? Then you have the adjective far. The comparative, it has two comparative forms. The first one is farther. Farther is about distance. Más lejos. So we're almost at the beach. Just drive a little farther, okay? And then there is further, which means additional. We need further examples. We need more examples. We need additional examples. Some exceptions to these rules include fun. Fun is a one-syllable adjective ending in consonant, vowel, consonant, but it doesn't follow the rules. So the comparative is more fun. Real is also more real. Bored more bored and you have some examples i love the book but the movie adaptation was more fun virtual reality makes video games more real yesterday she was bored today she's even more bored and so on we had this exercise which we did yesterday so we're not going to repeat it but now we have this now look comparatives with then Look, she's saying, I am taller than you. Soy más alta que tú, Luis. So, she is taller than him. Now, look at the hotel prices per person and per night. The Capitol Hotel, $350. The Grand Hotel, $110. Western Hotel, $195. So, the Capitol Hotel is more expensive than the Grand. It's also more expensive than the Western Hotel. So we use than after comparatives. For example, you say older than, more expensive than. This is like Spanish when you say más viejo que, mayor que, más caro que, etc., etc. So that than is que. Examples, Athens is older than Rome. Atenas es más vieja que Roma. Are oranges more expensive than bananas? How are you today? Not bad. Better than yesterday. Mejor que ayer. The restaurant is more crowded than usual. Está más lleno que lo, de lo usual. Do you understand how to use then? Do you have any questions about the comparatives with then? No questions. Okay, then we'll continue. Here's the grammar focus. Preferences and comparisons with adjectives. Okay, so look, they say, which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? You can also say, do you like more? Although it is not very common. Okay, I like the leather one better or I like the better the, the leather one more. It's also possible. That one is cheaper than the wool one. This one is nicer than the other one. The leather jacket is prettier than. It looks bigger than. It's more stylish than. And spelling, you have cheap. For example, cheap is a one-syllable adjective, so you just add er. Nice is a one-syllable adjective ending in E, so you just add R. Pretty, two-syllable adjective ending in Y, so you change Y for I-E-R. Big, one-syllable adjective ending consonant, vowel, consonant, so you have to add an extra consonant in E-R. That's it. Those are the spelling rules. Now, take a look at this. This is the uh, knowledge check, by the way. Okay. 3.12. So we're going to solve that. Everybody, take a good look at this. What is this? Look, complete the conversations, then practice with a partner. I need 
two volunteers for the first conversation, please. Two volunteers, two voluntarios que me ayuden. Juan Antonio, who else? ¿Quién más nos ayuda aquí? En una conversación, necesitamos dos personas. Come on. Someone else? Alguien más que nos pueda ayudar con esta? Okay, Marjorie, thank you. Then Pablo, you go number two. So Juan Antonio, you begin your letter A and Marjorie Marilyn, your B, please. Well, I want, I, yo soy el A, ¿verdad? Yes, your letter A. Okay. Which dress is, no, sorry. Mm, mm, mm. Which dress is your prettiest? The yellow one or the green one? You have to use the comparative form. So, which dress is, what's the comparative of pretty? Let's try this. Let's try again. Okay, which dress is? Is prettiest, but not prettiest. Okay, oh, because that no would prettiest? be a no. That's a superlative. Esos son superlativos. Okay. Entonces, ajá, tenemos que ocupar comparativos que es lo que hemos estudiado. So you have which dress is. Remember, the comparative form goes like this, okay? The com this is the comparative form, right? Yeah. Two syllable yeah. adjectives ending in Y, change Y for I, E, R. So, uh, again, we have this. Which dress is? <laughs> Oh, sorry. Okay, no problem. Paso. Okay, so then Marjorie and Pablo are going to help me. Then Nelson, we, you go with number two. So Mar uh, Marjorie, can you begin? Uh, in A, okay? Letter A, and Pablo, your letter B. Okay. The which dress is prettier? The prettier. yellow, pretty, prettier. Mm -hmm. The yellow one or the green one? Which dress is prettier? The yellow one or the green one? Okay. okay. Pablo Josue. Okay. Well, the green one is silk and silk is more expensive. Polyester. More expensive? One word is missing. Falta una palabra ahí. Well, the green, the green one is silk. And Silix mm, more expensive. More expensive. Oh, polyester. Mm -mm. Falta no. una palabra ahí. Para hacer la comparación, necesitamos una palabra clave. And Silix is more da da da. Uh -huh, da. Okay, so can you say it completely? And Silix is. And sell is the more expensive. Mm -mm. Mm. No, you say silk is more expensive. Y de ahí va the, una palabra. The more polyester. Then, okay. Then. Silk is more expensive than polyester. Okay, there you go. Which dress is prettier? The yellow one or the green one? You say, well, the green one is silk, and silk is more expensive than polyester. Okay, now Nelson Eduardo is going to help us, and I need another volunteer, please, to read part B, conversation two. Who can help me? Vamos, ¿quién me ayuda con la parte B? Oscar, okay, Nelson and Oscar. Uh, Nelson, you read A, and Oscar, you read B. Okay. Is the blue to share larger the red and white one? Can you repeat it, please? Is this blue shirt? 
larger. Mm, the pronunciation of this is large. Larger. Uh -huh. It will be larger, right? No. Larger than, actually. Okay. Vaya, fijémonos acá. Cuando ustedes comparan, vamos a verlo aquí. Usted puede decir. Luego el comparative y luego then. Y luego lo otro con lo que lo están comparando. Ok. Yo puedo decir Jupiter, el planeta Júpiter. Jupiter is larger than Saturn. Ok. Jupiter is larger than Saturn. Ok. Uh, la cuestión es esta ustedes mencionan la prim el primer objeto la primera persona o cosa de la que están hablando y luego va el verb be y luego el comparative pero como después van a mencionar lo otro con lo que lo están comparando necesitan utilizar that cuando no van a ocupar that cuando no estén mencionando lo otro inmediatamente por ejemplo usted puede decir Saturn is large, but Jupiter is larger. Aquí no va a utilizar larger than. ¿Por qué? Porque ya no está mencionando nada más. Ya mencionó a Saturno primero. Así que, ahí. Si Saturno es grande, pero Júpiter es más grande. El planeta. ¿no? So, that's the idea. Si usted ocupa el comparative e inmediatamente después expresa o menciona aquello con lo que está comparando, entonces hay que utilizar that. De lo contrario, no. Así que aquí tenemos. Is this blue shirt larger than the red and white one? Let's see. Oscar, your turn. Um, no. The red and white one is it's a bigger. It's, it's bigger. medium. Mm -hmm. It's bigger. Mm -hmm. It's a medium. The blue uh, one is a small. Uh huh. That's right. You have is this blue T-shirt larger than the red and white one? You say no. The red and white one is bigger. Ahora no decimos bigger than porque ya ya lo habíamos mencionado antes. Okay, con qué lo estábamos comparando. Ya no tenemos que ponerlo. So the red and white one is bigger. It's a medium. The blue one is small. Okay. Thank you. Marina Amaya, uh, do you have a question or do you want to participate? Participate. Okay. Marina wants to participate. She's going to be letter A for conversation three. I need a volunteer for part B. Please. A. Uh -huh. Look Mar at this pants. Oh. Uh, okay, okay. Marjorie is going to be B. Okay, so uh, Marina. Look at these pants. Which one do you like better? Which ones do you like better? Mm -hmm. Correct. And then Marjorie? I prefer the green I prefer the green cotton cotton ones, the more stylish than the wool ones. They're more stylish than the wool ones. That is correct. Okay, very good. The conversation goes like this. Look at these pants. Which one do you like better? You say, I prefer the green cotton ones. They are more stylish than the wool ones. There you go. So comparisons with that. Now we're going to do this exercise. This is extra, okay? This is not in the manual. So make comparisons using the words given. Add then if necessary. Si es necesario, hay que ponerle then, ¿verdad? So you have the cotton gloves and the leather gloves. So these cotton gloves are nice. The other person says, yes, but the leather ones are nicer. Nicer. They are also... Miguel, and then Ada. More expensive. They're also more expensive. That is correct. Okay, good. Teacher. 
Yes. Me puede poner asistencia. Ah, claro. Thank you. You're welcome. Miguel Antonio. Okay. All right. Hay más que ande por acá. Luis Alfredo, Luis Enrique, Luis Josué, cualquiera de los Luises. Ningún Luis está ahí. Ok. Oscar Mauricio, aquí está, ya lo vi. Thank you, Oscar. Ok, nos faltan los Luises, nomás. Ok, number two. Leather gloves. Ok, um, I need a volunteer. Who wants to try? No, I'm sorry, silk jackets. It says silk jackets. Marina Amaya and then Miguel Antonio. Marina, you're A. Uh, Antonio, Miguel Antonio, you're B. Veamos si comprende. Those silk jackets look the more attractive than the wool ones. Okay, can you repeat that? Those silver, those silk jackets look. So, those silk jackets look the more attractive than the wool ones. Me está diciendo una palabra de más que no pertenece. No, el Ajá. den. El den está bien. Um, more attractive than. Ajá, sería nada más. More attractive than. Mm -hmm. Those silk jackets look more attractive than the wool ones. And then Miguel Antonio. Yes, about the wool ones are warmer. Are warmer. Okay. Warmer. Mm -hmm. But the wool ones are warmer. Okay, there you go. What about number three? Three is a bit longer. Okay, so I only need one volunteer. Maria Magdalena, I begin. I am A and you're B, okay? Uh, this purple shirt is an interesting color. Yes, but the color is uh, pre prettier, the dissing. Prettier? That the dissing. Prettier than the design. Okay. The design, sorry. The color is prettier than the design. The design isn't bad. I think the... Pattern. Sorry? Pattern. Father, one done red chill is is uh, better <coughs> better than the father. One is the purple one. Better than okay, yeah. So uh, thank you. Le letter A. They said this purple shirt is an interesting color. The other person says yes, but the color is prettier than the design. Color está más bonito que el diseño. The other person says, the design isn't bad, okay? And then B says, I think the pattern, el patrón, okay? Like this one, see in the purple shirt? I think the pattern on that red shirt is better than the pattern on this purple one, okay? El patrón de la camisa roja es mejor que el patrón de la camisa purpura, okay? Good, thank you very much. And then I need two volunteers for question number four. You have a gold ring, which is $1,000, and a silver ring, which is $650. Blanca Esmeralda is, uh, goes with letter A, and who can help us with letter B? Please. Letter B. A. Uh, first, we need to find a partner. Okay, Ada. Okay, hey. let's begin, Blanca. Hey, look at this silver ring. It is nice and isn't and uh, it's and, and it's it, uh -huh. it's cheaper than the wool ring. Cheaper, falta una palabra ahí. It's cheaper. More cheaper? Mm -mm. No. Cheaper? Than? Aha. Uh -huh. Cheaper than? than. No, no, not, not, not much cheaper uh, than. than. Only cheaper than. Only uh, cheaper than. Mm -hmm. Remember okay. one thing here. Si el adjective ya termina en er, es decir, decimos bigger, 
cheaper, larger, thinner, etc. Right? It ends in ER. Ese ya es el comparativo. Okay. Uh -huh. You don't need to say more. Okay. Okay. Ahora, con los que sí tienen dos sílabas o más, ahí sí decimos more. More expensive, okay. etc. etc. So, um, Ada Veronica, part B. But it's smaller, it's smaller than the gold one. Smaller than. Than. Ajá. The gold the one. Gold one. But it's smaller than the gold one. Okay, Blanca, you're back in letter A. Well, J, the gold, the gold one is bigger than the silver one. But look at the price that one pound. $1,000 is a lot of money. Yes, okay. So the conversation goes like this. Letter A says, hey, look at this silver ring. It's nice. And it's cheaper than the gold ring. Letter B says, but it's smaller than the gold one. Letter A says, well, yeah, the gold one is bigger than the silver one. But look at the price tag. $1,000 is a lot of money. There you go. Okay, answer these questions, give your own information. Okay, so um, let's see, probably we're going to skip this because of the time. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. There's uh, the reading section. Let's take a look. The words online, marketplace, eBay. This is the last exercise for this unit, for this sec section. Check the statements you think are true, then scan the article to check your answers. So we're going to read directly right here, okay? I need a volunteer to read paragraph number one. Katherine Andreina. And then okay. Ada and Marjorie. Leerlo, verdad? Yes. Okay. Do, do you like shopping online? Do you like finding a bar bargain? Or Find, do... Sorry, finding a bargain. Finding a bargain. Okay, uh, do you like finding a bargain or a good boy? Bye. Uh, then eBay is for you. eBay. eBay, okay. eBay is the world's online marketplace. It's a place to buy and sell almost anything. We over 19 million members. 18 million. 18 million mm -hmm. members. eBay is more popular than any other shopping site on the internet. Thank you. Do you like shopping online? Do you like finding a bargain or a good buy? Then eBay is for you. eBay is the world's online marketplace, trademark. It's a place to buy and sell almost anything. With over 18 million members, eBay is more popular than any other shopping site on the internet. Before you we continue, do you have any sorry, do you have any questions about the vocabulary in paragraph one? Tienen alguna duda del vocabulario en el párrafo uno? How do many uh, eBay? eBay. The meaning. Thank you. The, the meaning or the pronunciation? The meaning in the pronunciation. Okay, eBay is a website. It's similar to Amazon. Uh -huh. eBay is a, is a website very similar to Amazon. That's the name. It's a marca, teacher. It's a trademark, yeah. Uh, de hecho, aquí yes. sale, TM, trademark. Marca registrada. Okay, eBay is the world's online marketplace. eBay is the main competition to uh, Amazon. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Um, Catherine Andreina, do you have a question? No, sorry, Marina Amaya was first. Do you have a question, Marina? Yes. Uh, marketplace, lugar o, o sitio en la web, ¿cómo se traduce eso? 
Mercado. That's a marketplace. Mercado. Mercado. It's the world's online marketplace. You can buy things and you can sell things on eBay. Like Amazon. It's very similar. Okay. Uh, Catherine and Reina, you. You you're welcome. Do you have a question about the vocabulary? Yes. Um, find a, uh, bargain, bargain. a bargain. A bargain is when you find something at a good price. We say in El Salvador, una cachada. Okay, finding a bargain. Encontrar, encontrar, un, encontrar un, una, una ganga, digamos así, ¿verdad? un buen precio. Una cachada. Así. Do you okay. like finding a bargain? Okay, te gusta encontrar buenos precios. Okay, Ada Verónica, you help me read part two, please. People trade. How trade. do you say trade? Trade. Trade. People trade millions of different things on eBay website, from cars to electronic to musical instrument. Here's who it works. Here's Amanda, how. Sorry. Here's how it works. Here's how it works. A member puts and how do you say? Advertisement. Advertisement for an item on the website. Other member bid or often offer money for the item. The person who bids the most money gets to buy the item. The then the seller seller send the item to the buyer. The buyer. buyer. Okay. <laughs> Just pronunciation is not item, but item. The item. 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 So item. people trade, trade, intercambia, right? People trade millions of different things on eBay's website, from cars to electronics to musical instruments. Here's how it works. A member puts an advertisement for an item on the website, like this, okay? Others members bid or offer money for the item. That's the meaning of bid. When they say, I'll give you $5. And another person says, I'll give you $10. Mm. Then another one says like, mm -mm, I'll give you $20. Another person says, I'll give you $25. So the bid increases, increases, increases. That's the bid. So other members bid or offer money for the item. The person who bids the most money, okay, gets to buy the item. If a person says like, okay, I give you a hundred dollars and nobody gives more money, then you get the product. Then the seller sends the item to the buyer. Okay, number three, Marjorie Marilyn. Okay, uh, selling on eBay is easy. eBay, sorry. eBay. 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 okay. Selling on eBay is easy, said Mike Stapp. Uh, he's, the, he's the owner of a company that sells YouTube computers. And he adds, I'm my friend on eBay. I, uh, I, I think it's a very friendly place, but some people don't, but some people don't like it. I think the traditional way Way to shop is better, say, say Jenny says, Fenn. Says Jenny Fenn. Says Jenny Fenn, a student. I want to touch things, not see a picture of things. Yeah, thank you, Marjorie. Selling on eBay is easy, says Mike Stacks. He is the owner of a company that sells used computers. And he adds, I make friends on eBay. I think it's a very friendly place, but some people don't like it. I think the traditional way to shop is better, says Jenny Feng, a student. I want to touch things and not see a picture of them. And the last paragraph, Marina Maya. And number four. Number four, please. Mm -hmm. No veo la, la parte de abajo. Ah, bueno. But whether 
but whether you like it or not, eBay is here to stay. There are now eBay users in the United States, Europe, Latin America, China, and many other countries. Some people may, maybe, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Maybe, maybe able. Eh, may be able to shop on eBay anywhere in the world. Yes, thank you. But whether you like it or not, ya sea que le guste o no, dice, but whether you like it or not, eBay is here to stay. Está aquí para quedarse. There are now eBay users in the United States, Europe, Latin America, China, and many other countries. Soon, people may be able to shop on eBay anywhere in the world. That's the reading right there. Okay, so um, because of the time, okay, we're going to skip it here because it's 8.40 and we need to check one thing, one more thing. Uh, we're going to do this. This is the midterm, okay? So everybody, I want you to take a good look at this. We're going to solve the midterm. Listenings, okay? This is the midterm, yeah, verdad. Está por acá. Este moment. Esta parte ya tiene que estar completa. Pero igual, vamos ahorita a dar un feedback, digamos así, de cada una de las partes. Ok, let's begin. Ok, first part is the listings. Wait, where's the presentation? Ok, here. Listings, instructions, listen to the conversation and select the correct answer. Escuche la conversación y seleccione la respuesta correcta. Let's listen to it. You have Silver is Lucy's friend. Lucy is from Toronto. Sylvie is Michael's classmate. Number two, Sylvie's last name is Marso, Marceau or Marco. Number three, Lucy's math teacher is pretty great, very interesting or really good. And number four, they are all in the cafeteria, in the same school, in the same chemistry class. I'm going to play the track and I want you to listen. Listen to the track and then you tell me the answers, please. Lucy, Michael, and Sylvie are talking. Can you hear that? Okay. Listen and check the correct answers. Good morning, Michael. Hi, Lucy. How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. How about you? Great. Hey, who's your friend? This is Sylvie Marceau. She's from Canada. Hi, Sylvie. Nice to meet you. I'm Michael Morse. Hi, Michael. It's good to meet you, too. I'm sorry, Sylvie, but what's your last name again? Oh, it's Marceau. How do you spell that? M-A-R-C-E-A-U. I see. So you're from Canada. Are you from Toronto? No, I'm from Montreal. Where are you from, Michael? I'm from Chicago. You know, Sylvie and I are in the same chemistry class this semester. Oh, really? Yeah. And what do you do, Michael? Are you a student here too? Yes, I am. Lucy and I are in the same math class. Oh, is your class interesting? Yes, it is. It's very interesting. And the teacher is really good. By the way, he's from Canada too. <laughs> really? Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure. Let's go and get some coffee. Okay, Sylvie? Sounds great. Okay. Do you have the answers or do you need to listen again? Luis Alfredo. Ando de Luis Alfredo, vamos a tomar su asistencia. Okay. I can't hear you, Luis. Ustedes escuchan a Luis, yo no escucho nada. No se le oye, Luis. Hay un problema ahí con el micrófono. Y ahora está congelada su pantalla. Ok. Chat. Ok, then. Well, um... Here we go. Okay, we're going to check answers. Number one, Sylvie is, what is that? Miguel. 
friends the Lucy. Lucy's friend. Lucy's friend. Yeah, hello, that's correct. Hello. She's Lucy's friend. Okay, good. Hello, hello. Hello, Luis. No, yes. Excuse me, my mic is fighting. Okay, no problem. Um, the number three, teacher. Number two. Number two. Sylvie's last name is? Is Marcel. Option one, two, or three? Uh, option two. That's correct. Okay, good. Stephanie Brenda Lee, number three. Lucy's math teacher is? Uh, really good. Really good. That's correct. Very good. And the last one. They are all. Knows the answer? Miguel Antonio? In the same school? In the same school. Okay, same they're school. all in the same school. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, good. Second listening part. Okay. Ben prefers the green shirts, red shirts, or blue shirts. Number two. The blue shirts are $25, $29, $41. The green shirts are made of polyester, silk, or cotton. And Ben's size is large, medium, or small. Okay, I'm going to play the track now. Listen and check the answers. Anne and Ben are talking in a clothing store. Listen and check the correct answers. Hey, those shirts look nice. What do you think, Ben? Yeah, Anne, they do look nice. I really like the blue ones, and the green ones are nice, too. Which ones do you prefer? I think I like the green ones better. They're very stylish. Oh, but look at the price. $41. That's expensive. The blue ones are only $29. That's more reasonable. But they're polyester. The green ones are made of better material. They're cotton. Say, Ben, what size are you? Small or medium? I wear a medium. But there aren't any medium ones in blue. They're all large or small. Okay. Idalia, do you want to begin? And then Stephanie Brendali. Give me a moment. Green uh, shirt. Okay, so Ben prefers, what does Ben prefer? I'm sorry? Green shirts. Green shirts. Okay, that is correct. He prefers green shirts. Thank you. Stephanie Brenda Lee, number two. The blue shirts are, how much are they? $29. $29, good, thank you. Miguel Antonio, the green shirts are made of? Cotton. Cotton, okay, Cotton. very good. And Luis Alfredo, the last one. Ben's size is? Ben size is medium. Medium. Okay, that's correct. Very good. Let's move on. So what's next? Uh, part B, fill in the blanks. Okay, instructions, fill in the blanks with the uh, correct form of the verb B. Rellene los espacios en blanco con la forma correcta del verbo ser o estar. So number one, who wants to try this? Okay, Idalia, then Stephanie. No, Where are time. you from? Where are you from? Okay, thank you. Teresa, I'm from Mexico City. How about you? Siempre lo mismo, estoy viendo un patrón de que quiero ver Brenda Lee, Idalia, Luis, Miguel. Los mismos cuatro. Ok, ¿qué pasó con los demás? Vamos. Ok. Y también nos están participando Juan Antonio, Marina, Ana Verónica, pero los demás. También por ahí Marjorie no está participando, pero muchos están demasiado callados. Ok, tratemos de participar. Ok, let's do it. Uh, Brenda Lee, number two. Is? Is David in your class this semester? Yes, we're in the same Spanish class. Okay, good. Number three, Miguel Antonio. Is your, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Is your match class life is really interesting and the teacher great? What is your math class like? Okay, uh, it's really interesting and the teacher is great. Okay, thank you. Juan Antonio Bran. Are Maria and Brian from Canada? Canada? Uh, no, no, they're from England. From England. Correct. Are Maria and Brian from Canada? No, they're from England. Thank you. Marina Maya de Mata, part two. Okay. 
uh, complete the following conversations with the simple present. Complete las siguientes conversaciones con el presente simple. So number one, Marina. Where do you work? I work in a restaurant. I am chef. I'm a chef. That's correct. Thank you. Luis Alfredo, number two. Number two. Hey, what does he do exactly? He's a pilot for Global Airlines. He's a pilot for Global Airlines. Correct. Very good. And Ada Veronica, number three. Where does she go to a school? She goes to the University of Colorado. She goes to the University of Colorado. Yeah, that's correct. Part C, circle the word or choose the word. Okay, instructions, choose the right possessive adjective. Escoja el adjetivo posesivo correcto. Okay, so uh, Marina Amaya, do you want to do number one? Okay, Brenda Lee, number two, Juan Antonio, Marjorie Merlin. Okay, las mismas personas de siempre. Los felicito mucho, los demás les invito, ¿verdad? A tomar ejemplo y perder un poquito el miedo, la pena o lo que sea que nos esté deteniendo para participar. Okay, so Marina Maya. Nice to meet you, Rich, and what's your last name again? What's your last name again? Thank you. Stephanie Brenda Lee. Number two. My last name is Peter. Parker. <laughs> oh, Parker. <laughs> Peter Sorry. Parker is Spider-Man. No. So my last name is Parker. Okay. It's nice to meet you too. Okay. Uh, Juan Antonio, number three. This is my new friend, Elizabeth. Everyone calls her pets. Everyone calls her Beth, okay? So, but that's not a possessive adjective. That's actually an object pronoun. But yeah, okay, that's correct. Bon appetit, by the way. <laughs> okay, Marjorie. Also to Marjorie, bon appetit. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, number four. Uh, hi, Beth. Were the Johnson, our first names are Frank and Judy. Our first names are Frank and Judy. Okay, very good. Una aclaración, aquí en la plataforma uh, aparece her como que si fuera un uh, possessive adjective, porque ese es el, el objetivo, completar con el possessive adjective cor correcto. Pero aquí her no es un possessive adjective, aquí es un object pronoun, es algo distinto. Que casualmente se escribe igual al possessive adjective her. Okay, so uh, instructions, next part, this is part D, sorry. Choose the proper object pronoun. Okay, so uh, escoja los pronombres objetos correctos. Now, estos son los object pronouns. So let's continue. Luis Alfredo and then Miguel Antonio, number one, and then Stephanie Brenda Lee. Okay. Uh, Luis, number one. I like it a lot. I like it. Yes, I like it a lot. Um, let's see, uh, Miguel, do you agree? Uh, Johnny Depp is my favorite actor. I like him a lot. I like him a lot. Him. Okay. So... I like, it's okay, it's okay. Thank you. Correct answer. I like him a lot. Okay, good. Uh, Stephanie Brendali, number two, please. Music videos aren't very interesting. Do you like them? Do you like them? Okay, the music videos. That's correct. Very good. Ada Veronica, number three, please. Uh, the microphone, Ada. My favorite TV program is Survivor. What do you think oh. of it? What do you think of it? Okay, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Good. Next, part E, complete the sentences. Okay, instructions, fill in the gaps with the correct time expressions. Llena los espacios con las expresiones de tiempo correctas. So, we don't have much time. We only have five minutes. Let's do this. Number one, uh, Marina. 
No, permítame. Hay algunos que han tenido la mano levantada más tiempo. Idalia Margarita. Ok, number one. I sleep at 10 p.m. on weekday. I sleep at 10 p.m. on weekdays. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, now, Marina. Marina, number two. John gets home late at night. John gets home late at night. Good. Thank you. Luis Alfredo. Number three. Uh, number, number three. Yes. Number they three. have... Uh, they have lunch on Saturdays around 1 p.m. They have lunch on Saturdays around 1 p.m. Correct. Very good. Siempre acuérdense, cuando ya concluya su participación, pueden, levant, pueden bajar la mano para que no se me acumulen en pantalla. Thank you. María Magdalena, number four. I go to the bed around 11 in the evening. I go to bed around 11 in the evening. That's correct. Very good. Thank you. Brenda Lee, Stephanie Brenda Lee, number five. Uh, we have class in the morning. We have class in the morning. Okay, yes, we have class in the morning. Part two, instructions filling the sentences with uh, demonstrative pronouns. Llene los espacios con los pronombres demonstrativos. Ya me bajaron la mano todos los que habían levantado. ¿Qué pasó? Yo ahí los tenía en fila, ya para que me participaran y de pronto todos los que tenían la mano arriba la bajaron. Ok. Number one. Miguel, number two. Marjorie, number three. Brenda Lee, number four. Luis, number five. Marina. Ok. So, Miguel, number one. How much is this watch? I can't find a price tag. How much is this watch? I can't find a price tag. Ok. Yeah, there you go. Number two, Stephanie Brenda. No, sorry, Marjorie Marilyn. Number two. Look at those purple gems over there. Aren't they stylish? Aren't they stylish? Aren't they stylish? stylish? Okay, correct. Very good. Number three, Stephanie Brenda Lee. I like this gold earrings. They look great on me. Can you repeat? I like this. Is it singular or plural? Um, plural? No, plural. perdón, singular. Singular. Okay, let's see. Uh -huh. We have uh, this and these. Singular, uh -huh. this, plural, these. Uh, so these. which one? These, plural. These. <laughs> I like these gold earrings. They look great on me. Okay, thank you, Stephanie. Luis Alfredo, number four. Number four, excuse me. I like that cup. Can I see it, please? Excuse me, I like that cap. Can I see it, please? Thank you. And the last one, Marina Maya, number five. She likes those glasses over there. She likes those glasses over there. Very good. Final exercise is the reading. I'm going to read it because we don't have much time. Hi, Ernesto. In your email message, you asked me, what do I do every day? Well, I'm a student at the University of Michigan. I really like my classes. I study computer science and Chinese. I go to school around 8 in the morning on weekdays. Around noon, I have lunch with some classmates. On Mondays and Fridays, I work out in the gym before my classes. And in the late afternoon, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, my friend Daniel and I have part-time jobs. We work in the, cafe the school cafeteria, and I study in the library every weeknight until about 2 a.m. I'm a full-time student, and I don't have time to watch TV. And what do you do? Send me another email, please. Your new e-friend, Chris. So we have to select the correct choices right here. Marina Amaya, Ernesto is Chris's classmate, new friend, or best friend? The microphone. Ernesto is Chris's new friend. New friend. That's correct. Thank you. Maria Magdalena, Chris is a part-time teacher, full-time student, or TV announcer? 
Full-time student. Full-time student. Okay, thank you. Ada Veronica. Daniel works in the library, exercises every day, or is Chris's friend? Is Chris's friend. It's Chris's friend. friend. Okay, thank you. And Miguel Antonio Rodriguez. Uh, okay, momentito. Uh, por ahí vía Olivia. Olivia quiere participar. Vamos a darle chance. Olivia, number four. Uh, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, uh -huh. Chris writes to Ernesto, works with Daniel, or doesn't study at the library? Works with Daniel. Works with Daniel. That is correct. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. And that's it. We finished that part. I'm going to uh, go with the attendance. Okay. Just going with the attendance one more time. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Is he here? Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado? No. Luis Josue Valle Hernandez. You here, Luis Josue? Not here. Okay, everybody. Con eso terminamos la sección 3 y el midterm. Mañana no hay clase, acuérdese viernes. No me vaya a conectar. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mañana no hay clase, así que I'll see you Monday. Okay? Take care. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.